Hello, and welcome back to Getting Started in Streaming. My name is Arif, and in this advanced tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a brand new feature brought to OBS as a native supported application, rather than a plugin like it used to be, and that is the OBS Virtual Cam. If you don't know what a virtual cam is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a virtual camera. So instead of how you're seeing me, where I'm recording through an actual lens and everything, I instead can use my OBS to be the camera and then whatever I switch my OBS to is what you will see on the camera side. It's incredibly easy to set up and it's actually really stable, which is very nice. So let's get in and show you how to set up the OBS virtual cam. This will only take a second or two. Now to get started by setting up the virtual cam, it's very simple. All you have to do is come into OBS and hit start virtual cam. And then you wanna go into your application of choice. So we're gonna use OBS for this one. Come into your settings, go into voice and video, and then come down into camera, and we're gonna pick OBS virtual cam. Hit close. And then we're just gonna share our screen. So we're gonna say OBS virtual cam, and we're gonna turn on the cam. And because this is obviously black, let's turn this on to, let's say the button mash screen. And there you have it. That is how you see it. Now on your end on this video, you are seeing the words come in as backwards. This is only on your side. Do not worry about this. The recipient on the other side sees it normally. Okay, you don't have to freak out that everything's coming in reverse. This is intended, this is actually designed this way by the OBS programmers from what I can read on the forums, but your recipient will see things in the proper font and proper uh, direction, I guess. And there you have it. That is how you set up the OBS virtual cam. It's incredibly simple. As you can see, it's literally just one button and an option change in your application of choice. I really do like this. I even, I up until this uh, moment did not leverage virtual cams in any meaningful capacity because I didn't really understand their power until I saw this announcement and I saw a few other streamers doing some incredible things with virtual cams. Now, why would you want to use a virtual cam? As you can see, you can make your OBS your camera. It will match your frame rate, it will match your resolution. So you can do a lot of high value production things with your OBS in your Zoom call, in your Microsoft Teams meeting. This is an incredibly powerful tool that I hope more people begin to unlock up to and including myself. Like I said, I did not leverage virtual cams at all. I've had them for probably over a year now and I never used them in any way whatsoever until I saw some other streamers doing some more interesting things with it. So always be on the lookout, always be watching what other people are doing. Remember, while in streaming, people are your competition, they're also your greatest source of inspiration. And genius can come from anywhere. So take that for what it is, but this is how you set up the OBS virtual cam. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, you might wanna hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below if you want ideas or if you have ideas that for other tutorials that you'd like me to do. Maybe you wanna check out some of my other videos I created. I, there's a lot of variable content on this channel that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Arif, this has been Getting Started in Streaming in Advanced Tutorial, and I'll see all of you on the next video. Bye.